Hey family, did you know that believers are hidden in Christ? Colossians 3.3 3 says, For ye are dead, and your life is hid with Christ in God. But what exactly does it mean to be hid in Christ? To help you understand, I'm going to tell you about three animals, and I hope that this can paint the picture for you. First, let's talk about the kangaroo. When the kangaroo has a baby, the baby hangs out within the pouch of the mother. And sometimes you can look directly at the kangaroo and not realize that the kangaroo has a baby with her because the baby is hidden inside the pouch. Glory to God. Amen. The baby is hidden inside the pouch. So when the baby is inside the pouch, the baby is in close proximity to the mother. As believers, you and I are supposed to be in close proximity to the father. Just like the baby kangaroo is within the presence of the mother, we are supposed to always be within the presence of the father. Psalm 91 says, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high. If you are in the secret place, you are in his presence. You're in close proximity to him. It's it says if you're there, if you're in that place, it says that you shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. If you can see my shadow, that means you're right there within my presence. If you can see my shadow, that means you're right there within close proximity to me. So this baby kangaroo is within close proximity to the mother. Well, what does that mean? First and foremost, that means that the baby is protected. Glory to God. See, the predators, predators tend to, to tend to target the young within the animal kingdom, right? The predators target those that look vulnerable, those that look weak. And how, how much weaker can you look? How much more defenseless can you appear to be if you are a baby? A baby needs someone to protect it. A baby is not able to protect itself. A baby depends on the mother, on the on the parent for nourishment, for protection, for provision. All these things represent us when it talks about being hidden, just like the kangaroo. We're right there within God's presence. We're right there within that safe space, within the pouch of the mother, within that safe space. We're able to grow. We're able to be nourished. We're able to be protected. You know what else it shows? It also shows value. Oh, my goodness. It shows value. Are y'all are hearing me? It shows value. How so? How so? The thing that you value most, you keep protected. The things that you value most. You always, always, always keep it protected. This is why you have people that deposit valuable items in safety deposit boxes, in banks, even online. Even online, the things that we have that we want safe, our social security numbers, our, our um, email addresses, what do we do? We encrypt it. We encrypt it with passwords. We do everything we can to keep those things safe. Why? Because they hold value. They hold value. So we don't want it to fall into the wrong hands. Right? So the so 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 this this um the kangaroo having the baby within the pouch and the believer being within close proximity to the father, it shows that the father and the mother kangaroo values the young. It value it. The kangaroo values the young. Our father values his children. He values us. Your life holds value if you are a believer. Your life holds value, so much value to God that God is like, you know what? I don't even want you out there where the enemy can get his hands on you and have his way with you. I want you to stay in this close place. I want you to stay right here next to me. Stay in my presence where you can be protected at. Glory to God. We hold value to God. Hallelujah. Ephesians. Ephesians 2.13 says this, right? It says that, uh, um, how it says, but now, I'm trying to remember. It says, but now in Christ Jesus, ye who sometimes were far off are made nigh by the blood of Jesus Christ. At one time, we had no relationship whatsoever with the Father. At one time, we were not in close proximity to the Father, even though the Father desired 
to be in close proximity to others. Us, we were out there in the world. We were doing things our own way. We wasn't acknowledging God in any way. We were out there. We were far off. But the Bible tells us we have been made nigh by the blood of Christ. So it's because of Jesus Christ that we have been brought into close proximity to the Father. Ah, oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. The second animal. Ah, oh, the second animal i want to tell you about is the chameleon we talking about being head in christ the chameleon we know the chameleon has the ability to camouflage itself it, it blends in with an with its environment so that even when you're looking at it you can't determine that that's what it is it blends in with the environment. So if it's in the grass, when you look directly at the chameleon, you think you're looking at the grass. Because we are supposed to be so united with Christ, because we are hid in Christ. When people see us, they are not supposed to see us because we're camouflaged by Christ. They are supposed to see Christ. It's not us, but him that they are supposed to see. When they're looking at us, they're supposed to be looking at him. Galatians 2.20 says, I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. We are to be living a crucified life. The crucified life is a life that we have died to ourselves, that we are allowing Christ to live through us. So that means I am not supposed to be out trying to set my own reputation. I'm not trying to build a brand out of myself. No, Jesus Christ is the brand. Jesus is the brand, not me. I don't want to make myself a household name. I want to make him a household name. We're supposed to be making his name known through the earth. So the chameleon hides by blending in with this environment so that you don't see him. All you can see is what covers him. All people are supposed to see is what covers us. Christ, because we're hidden in him. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The third animal. It's the butterfly. Ha. Ah, the butterfly. First Corinthians 15, 51 says, Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. You know, the butterfly, before it becomes the butterfly, it has a stage called the cocoon. Now, before the cocoon stage, it's a caterpillar. The caterpillar doesn't look anything beautiful. You know, it doesn't look like anything that stands out. Right. It doesn't hold all this appeal. The butterflies tend to be stepped on here and there. Right. People look down on it. But, uh, but I mean, the, the, as a caterpillar, but in the butterfly stage in the butterfly stage, people are looking up at it. People get a chance to behold its beauty. But there's a transition phase. The transition phase is the cocoon. The cocoon stage is when the butterfly is hidden. Ah, so we are hidden in Christ. This represents a stage of that cocoon. Why? Because there is, a, oh my goodness, there is a time coming where we are entering or exiting out of that cocoon and there's a transformation that happens where we will appear in our glorified bodies. We will appear in our glorified bodies. We will be something to behold. The Bible says that when he appears, we will be like him. We will be like him. Glory to God. We ourselves will have glorified bodies just like him. Hallelujah. So as of right now, we must be content with being hidden in Christ. Not us, but him alone. Is to be glorified that when he appear, we might appear also.
hallelujah and we are going to be like him when he appears so glory to god family i pray that all of you will rest in his promises and i pray that you will be content with being hidden in christ hallelujah be content with being hidden a lot of us don't want to be hidden a lot of us want to be out there for the world to see us amen but it's not about us it's about him it's about jesus glory to god hallelujah amen so family i want to extend this invitation to anyone that may have stumbled upon this video that's not a believer that's not christian they're still far off the bible tells us this that if you shall confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shall believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. You can join the family of God today. You can be saved today. The Bible says in John 3, 16, that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever, and if that whosoever is you, whosoever believeth on him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. If you believe that Jesus Christ is the son of God, if you are able to confess this with your heart, confess this with your mouth, believe it with your heart, you shall be saved. That's a promise to you from God himself. Amen. So we welcome you into the faith. Just speak that from your heart. Just from your heart, say, Lord Jesus, I believe in you. I believe that you are the son of God, that you came into this earth, that you died for me, laid your life down for me, that I don't have to die. That if I place my faith in you, I can live eternally with you because you rose from the grave. You didn't stay dead. Hallelujah. Ah, oh, glory to God. If you will pray that prayer from your heart, the Bible say that you shall be saved. Hallelujah. In Jesus name. Amen. So family, that is the end of this video. I would like to ask all of you not to forget to like this video and subscribe. I'm coming at you with more. God bless you.